kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, cheeky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, da, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the oh. lunch. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring. <gasps> what if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared! <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police! Granny, it's okay! That's just our super duper scarecrow! It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden! <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children! Oh! But it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. Hmm, we could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? Put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Look at that! The pinwheel! They're afraid of the pinwheel! It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. Memory. One day, the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh, sorry, 
I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry. I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But, Cookie, you keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah, remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry. I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great. All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm. Let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm, that's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm. The ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? <sighs> I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, You're right. right! How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. <laughs> I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine show has already started. Oh, no! That wraps up the best show we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? <gasps> Sorry. We started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this. Look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. So I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's requests in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind. And he used his special notebook to help him remember. The Kitty Train. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. I'm driving, called it! And Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers! Let's, Let's go! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You kids have a great trip! We'll be here waiting for you! Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal so we can go faster. At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? <sighs> oh. 
Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. Why? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it. Took my hat. Fresh, yummy popcorn. Oh. oh, no. Now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who's driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there, I'm gonna do it! Or, I'm too slow. No! <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? It's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops, you know? Yeah, the brake lever! You must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo 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 choo! Oh, it's great to drive the choo choo Up the tracks along the way in our awesome, cool, true, blue, choo-choo train, what a perfect day. Choo-choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo. The train is really going, pumping smoke into the air. When they hear the whistle blowing, then they'll know that we are there. Choo-choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo. This time around, everyone had a turn driving the train, and Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view. Butterfly. One lovely day, the kitty cats were having lots of fun out on the playground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this smudge looks like a ghost or something. Ooh. Uh, what is it that you're trying to capture, Pudding? Awesome butterflies I've never seen before in real life, so I can look at them for myself. The one I hope to catch is a rainbow butterfly, though. Her wings are a pretty rainbow color. That sounds just beautiful. I'd really love to see one of them. Well, actually, they don't live here. Rainbow butterflies are only found in tropical countries. The kitty cats returned home to find a surprise waiting for them. Guess what, kittens? Grandpa sent us a box of tropical fruit. Isn't that wonderful? Mmm, pineapple. Oh, little caterpillar! Look at her. She is a really big one. Can I keep her? Oh, Mommy, please. Oh, what if she becomes a big butterfly? I suppose. But please don't let it just crawl around the house. Caterpillars frighten me. I promise you, Mommy, I won't take my eyes off her. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Certain this 
squirmy and gross caterpillar will really turn into a beautiful butterfly after a while? You bet she will, just as long as I take really good special care of her. Oh! Huh. Mm. Mm. Once there was a butterfly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Could you change the channel, please? Our favorite show is about to come on. You guys need to wait. Our caterpillar really loves watching this show about butterflies. This is getting kind of out of hand. What if that thing doesn't even turn into a butterfly? Yes, she will. Both of you just wait. I know you'll become the really, truly most beautiful butterfly in the world. <sighs> Hooray! It finally happened. What? What happened? The caterpillar turned into a butterfly? Well, not quite yet, but soon she'll be. She's gone into a cocoon and she'll come back out of it as a butterfly. What if instead of a nice butterfly, some kind of ugly, creepy beetle comes out? Like a rhinoceros beetle or something. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Or maybe instead an awesome battle come out. Oh. Ah. Or what if what comes out will be a lovely magical fairy? Ah. Oh. Oi. Hmm. Great. Now I'm really nervous. Oh. No way. Look at that. Huh? It's what I've been hoping for. A rainbow butterfly, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful! Come on, let's show Mommy and Daddy! What a pretty butterfly! Excellent work, kittens! Honestly, it wasn't us that did the work, it was Puddy! Yeah, he took really good care of the caterpillar. And now we just need to let her out of the jar so she can fly free with all of the other wonderful pretty butterflies. Visit us sometime, Rainbow Butterfly, all right? I hope you'll be okay. Goodbye. Darlings, so you'll always remember your dear Rainbow Butterfly friend. I got some special bows and ties. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So thanks to Pudding's great care, the Rainbow Butterfly can be found in tropical countries and in the kitty cat's yard. The Day of the Black Cat. One day, the kitty cats and their friends were getting ready to celebrate the Day of the Black Cat. Well, here he is, our lucky black cat. I'll get everything ready so we can start. Daddy hid the lucky black cat in a secret spot and left clues and hints around to help the kittens find him. <laughs> now, kittens, if you can find the black cat before 6 p.m., well, then you'll be able to grab good luck right by the tail as the legend goes. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look! I don't think the black cat would fit inside that small box. Huh, it's my whistle. It's really pretty and shiny. Uh, I guess that it's some kind of clue, guys. Maybe we're supposed to blow it. <gasps> oh! <gasps> hey, we need that whistle. It's a clue. <laughs> There's a clue in here! Raspberries. I think it means we should go to the raspberry bush in the park. Oh. <laughs> the quest Daddy had put together for the kittens was not an easy one. <laughs> but after a lot of hard work, they finally found the last clue. 
is hidden somewhere in our house. Come on, hurry! Guys, wait! Where is Smudge? Hey, Smudge! Hey, maybe we buried him at the sandbox accidentally. Whoa. The magpie could have swooped down and taken Smudge. <laughs> or maybe he just got lost somewhere. Good idea. We should go on a hunt for Smudge. If we do that, we won't find the black cat in time. And we won't grab luck by its tail. Smudge is our friend. That's more important than grabbing good luck. Hey, hey Smudge! Smudgy! Hey, Smudge! Oh. Oh, huh? these are Smudge's footprints. Huh? It's, it's Smudge! Smudge. Help me, guys! I can't get out of this gully! It's just too slippery! Ooh. Grab on! Ah, <laughs> 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 huh. well, it looks like he didn't find the black cat in time. Well, Smudge fell in a ditch and got stuck. Oh, and we were saving him. And you did the right thing. <laughs> well, since Smudge here happens to be a black cat as well, and you found him before six, I believe you grabbed luck by the tail after all. And here is your prize. Yummy chocolate kittens with a fortune inside. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Will you make my fortune for me, Mommy? <laughs> this year, you are going to have a lot of fun. Lots of interesting stuff is waiting for you. You have good friends that will stay by your side. This would be a very good year for everyone, especially Smudge, because the best luck of all is having wonderful friends around you. Walkie Talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called Walkie Talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. <laughs> This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you, too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I am in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. <laughs> Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the back side of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the back side of your pants? <laughs> uh, why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention. Huh? This huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie oh. managed to find the police walkie-talkie huh? station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, yes it's, it's us. us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. 
Great! Copy, Copy that. that! Oh, wow! We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers! <laughs> I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. <laughs> I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in. The kitty cat search squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard. Roger that. I'm on my way. My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Oh, come on, stop! Please! Stop, lawnmower! Whew! <laughs> I can't thank you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Be well, be well, be well. Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. First airplane adventure. One morning, Mommy and Daddy came in with some exciting news. We are leaving for a family vacation tomorrow. And guess what? To get there, we'll all be flying in an airplane. An, an airplane, airplane for real? real? Oh, wow. We haven't been on a real airplane before, guys. How does it work, Dad? Well, first, all of us will head to the airport. It's kind of like a house where all the airplanes live. <sighs> Then they'll take all our luggage. Oh. Hey, stop! And then they'll check our tickets. One, two, three, four, but where's five? Five. Then we'll actually get on board, take off, and fly high above the clouds. Above the clouds? That's how high it goes? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next day, Mommy and Daddy and the kitty cats took a taxi to the airport. Come on! We don't want to be late for the plane or it will leave without us. Huh, really? First, we wrap up all our bags here so that nothing bad happens to any of them. It's just the big ones that need to get checked in. Pudding, no. And now we'll find out where we'll be sitting. I want to sit by the window. Well, I want one on the couch safe back at our house. Okay, now. Pudding will sit with cookie and candy. And this machine shows what's inside our bags. They're looking for liquid because you can't take that on board. Really? Oh. oh. Hey, you can't take that bottle on the plane. Oh, guess I'll just have to go home then. Oh, you can just drink the water here and then get on the plane. Aww. Hurry up, or we'll be late. Good. Now come on. Not yet. I have to visit the restroom. Attention, please. This is the final boarding call for Cookie, Candy, Pudding, and their parents. All right, hurry. Wait for us. I don't want to fly above the clouds. Just leave me here and go. You don't want to go on our trip? I do, but I'm really scared to fly. <laughs> I have a really good idea. 
What do we normally do when we're scared of something, Pudding? We scream, help, 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 help! No! We close our eyes! And then we're not nearly as scared, right? Candy and Cookie helped Pudding get on board and find his seat with his eyes closed. Wowee! We're flying incredibly high! The clouds look really magical and fluffy! Huh? Oh, wow! This isn't scary at all! In fact, it's pretty awesome. Soon we'll be serving some nice snacks and beverages. But in the meantime, how would you like some comic books or magazines to look at? Would you look at that? I can't believe I was afraid to fly because flying is so, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Uh, just tell me, are we in the air yet? Yes, darling. Super high. Is there anything that I can bring you? He'll be fine if he just sits with his eyes shut. Poor thing doesn't like flying. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just don't let go of my paw, okay? The kitty cats ended up having a great time on the real airplane. And Brave Pudding wasn't afraid of flying anymore. <laughs> winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time mm. playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow! There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to ride huh? down this one! I want to go on uh, that one! Uh, no, that one over there! Uh, well now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry! <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. <laughs> kittens, no taking naps in the snow! <laughs> Okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Wowee! Oh, cool! Oh. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all! Whoa! Aww. That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry up! Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> oh, I be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Oh, yeah. Remember, we don't have a lot of time. And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Huh? Now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> huh? Now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> this one is green. It's not ours. This one's blue, not ours. It's red! Hey, everyone, I think I found our car! <laughs> oh. oh, 
Oh, huh? <laughs> thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm so tired and cold, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great mm -hmm. that you understand that, kittens. But right now, we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. Germs. One day, the kittens came home from playing outside and wanted some fruit to eat. Yummy! I want to have an apple! I want grapes! And I want both apples and grapes! Kittens! Weren't all of you just playing outside? You need to wash your paws before you eat, because they're covered with germs. I've never seen a single germ in my whole life. What if germs are just a story Mommy made up to scare us into washing our paws? Hey, why don't the three of us go on a big germ hunt? And if we don't find any, we can tell Mommy germs don't exist. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy always says that there are lots of germs in the bathroom. But I don't see even one germ anywhere. Of course not. Who'd want to live in the toilet? Maybe they like to live where there's food around them everywhere. The kitchen! <laughs> so, um, have you found any germs? Not even one teeny tiny baby germling. Well, maybe they're so teeny tiny that you can't see them at all without a magnifying glass. Germ, it's our dad. <laughs> oh! uh -huh. I don't see germs on any of these buttons. Yikes, oh. I found one! Right in there! It's just a regular old spider. Mommy's always telling us to wash our paws when we've been playing outside, right? That must mean that lots of germs live outside. The kittens examined everything around them very carefully, but they still didn't find any germs. That's it. Our research proved there's no such thing as germs. Right, and I'm going to eat something right now without bothering to wash my filthy paws. Cookie, did you remember to wash your paws first? They've got germs all over them, and you're getting germs on the cupcakes as well. Daddy, don't tell me you believe those fairy tales about germs because we proved they aren't real. We looked everywhere and didn't find them. There's none outside or in the toilet either. So we never have to wash our paws again. No! You didn't see any germs because germs are very, very tiny. Even a magnifying glass can't see them. You can only see them through a special machine that's way stronger than a magnifying glass called a microscope. <laughs> Whoa. I have a really good idea. The kittens washed their paws with soap and then checked them again through the microscope. Hmm. Well, 
now there aren't any germs on your paws at all. Which means you can eat all the cupcakes and fruit that you like. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> It was so nice to eat cupcakes and fruit when they knew there were no germs on their paws. From then on, the kitty cats always washed their paws before they ate. Tennis with Dad. One day, Mommy was talking to someone on the phone. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. When would you like to play? Okay, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> And what are you going to be playing, my darling? Well, you and I will be playing together, doubles tennis, with Chase's mom and dad. Whoa! You mean you're going to play a tennis match? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But Kitty, hold on. I'm not really the best tennis player. That's all right. I can pick up the slack for you. We'll play a few sets. Uh, only one set, all right? I've got things to take care of. All right, one set and that's all. Off to the gym. Have to be in great shape for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to lose no matter what, and it'll all be my fault. Hey, don't worry, Daddy. You've still got plenty of time to practice. That's right. We can help you, Daddy. The backyard was the perfect place to practice. The key to doubles tennis is to stay out of your partner's way and return the ball. Daddy, just pretend that all of these things are Mommy, and remember to keep away from them. This is Mom, then? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, Kitty dear, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, that was an accident. Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Oh, no, wait! Oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's wrong? Daddy hasn't hit a single tennis ball yet. He's not moving fast enough to get them. He'd be much faster if he wore a pair of roller skates. But I never figured out how to stop on roller skates. I could mommy's way even more like this. Uh, maybe you could just stand in one spot and wait for the ball to come to you. If you did that, you wouldn't get in Mom's way. <laughs> what if the ball never comes near him? Then it would be like Mommy was playing all by herself. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. When it comes to tennis, I'm the worst. <sighs> To cheer everyone up, Daddy offered the kitten some tea along with his signature cake. You may not be the world's greatest tennis player, Daddy, but you make the yummiest desserts ever. Right. Good looking ones, too. Just look at that icing. Learning how to bake like this took quite a lot of practice. I had to learn the basics first, such as how to whip cream. I've got a really good idea. I know how we can teach Daddy tennis now. Uh, I thought we were finished with all that tennis stuff. Daddy no need to worry. I promise you'll do awesome this time. <laughs> oh. In tennis, just like in anything else, it's best to start with the basics and eventually move on to bigger things. We might have won the set, but you guys played excellently. I was surprised. Yeah, you played so wonderfully, darling. Too bad you can't play longer. It'd be great to play some more sets. <laughs> we could play another ten sets. I'm absolutely free until tonight. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> And that's how simple exercises helped Daddy to believe in himself. Because it always feels good to just try your very best.